park is just a howling wilderness of 3,000 square miles, full of all imaginable freaks of a fiery nature. Now I know what it is to sit enthroned amid the clouds of sunset. Rudyard Kipling, 1907. Welcome to Yellowstone. The human stories of Yellowstone reach back 11,000 years and include your journey today. What drew you to Yellowstone? In 1871, rumors of volcanic activity prompted scientists to explore and document the Yellowstone area. Artist Thomas Moran and photographer William Henry Jackson accompanied the expedition. And through their paintings and photographs, Yellowstone captured the hearts and imaginations of the American people. A year later, Yellowstone became the world's first national park. Land set aside as a place for all to experience nature's wildness. Discover your Yellowstone from dazzling palettes of color created by microscopic communities of heat-loving organisms called thermophiles to the joy of new life to water crashing down into the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone River to so much more. Are you ready to experience your Yellowstone? If you're interested in hydrothermal features, this is one of the best spots in the world to view them. Gaze into the park's numerous hot springs, pools where water heated underground flows freely to the surface. Watch geysers, hot springs with an underground constriction, erupt hot water above the surface. More than 500 geysers, over half the world's total, are found within the park, most of them near Old Faithful. Listen to fumaroles, the hottest hydrothermal features, hiss and growl as heat flashes the limited water underground into steam. Look for bubbling mud pots, acidic hot springs that dissolve the surrounding rock. Tour these hydrothermal wonders along the park's many boardwalks. Yellowstone is a volcanically active area. Much of the park is actually situated inside of the Yellowstone caldera. The caldera was formed about 640,000 years ago during a massive volcanic eruption. Today that caldera is about 30 by 45 miles wide. All this volcanic and hydrothermal activity is due to Yellowstone sitting atop a geologic hotspot, a place where molten rock, known as magma, reaches closer to the surface than normal. As you explore Yellowstone, think about the tremendous heat beneath your feet. Stay on boardwalks and mark trails in all hydrothermal areas. To experience Yellowstone is to experience the heart of one of the largest and most intact temperate ecosystems on Earth, known as the Greater Yellowstone Ecosystem. The ecosystem contains vast lodgepole and Douglas fir forests, sagebrush steppe and alpine tundra, wetlands, rivers, and lakes.
Within this ecosystem lives a diversity of native wildlife. Food availability determines where wildlife is found in the park. As the snow disappears in the spring, Yellowstone bursts to life. Ungulates such as elk, bison, and pronghorn roam across the ecosystem within and outside park boundaries based on the growing season of the plants they eat and the severity of winter. As summer returns, these animals migrate to areas like the fertile valleys of Yellowstone. Predators like wolves, bald eagles, and river otters are more elusive, moving around based on where their prey are found. Summer is a time for colorful blooms of wildflowers to cover the mountainsides, young animals to grow strong before their first winter, and male bison to compete for mates. To survive, Yellowstone's animals must move freely in their environment. Keep your distance. If any wildlife approach you, immediately move away to keep your distance. Prevent them from eating any human food. Help keep Yellowstone's animals wild. The arrival of fall brings the very active and loud elk mating season. It's also a time of preparing for winter. Bears focus on gaining weight. Bears hibernate for five months out of the year here. And so the months that they're active, they're intensely feeding, trying to gain enough weight uh, for hibernation. Foraging bears may not notice you. It is especially important to know and practice bear safety. Be alert and keep your distance. When hiking, make noise. Travel in groups of three or more. Carry bear spray and know how to use it. As winter returns to Yellowstone, new opportunities abound for visitors and it can be a great time to spot wildlife. Taking advantage of the lack of competition for food, trumpeter swans migrate to Yellowstone during the winter. Elk, mule deer, and bison migrate to lower elevations, or they can be found around geyser basins, where the heat keeps winter snows at bay. Millions of people also migrate through the park each year, Whether you are here for the first time or are here time and again, there is a lot to enjoy. With the greater Yellowstone ecosystem extending over many millions of acres, encompassing state, federal, tribal, and private lands, it is a living laboratory filled with knowledge waiting to be discovered. Find out how the changing climate affects the ecosystem, or how native populations are impacted by invasive species. Learn how fire plays a natural role in the ecosystem and how research on microbes living in extreme conditions has led to medical and scientific discoveries. Explore Yellowstone's visitor centers, join in a ranger program, and most of all, get out into the park to witness the wonders firsthand. Take time to get to know Yellowstone. People have traveled from around the world to experience Yellowstone. They have enriched the history and chosen to preserve and protect this world-renowned treasure. Some of my most memorable experiences in geyser basins have been at sunrise or sunset. So it's very quiet and the light will sometimes strike a geyser pool just right, making it a beautiful color. 
Just seeing the reaction of visitors when they see a grizzly bear for the first time, or a majestic bull elk, and it's just a remarkable thing to watch. I got to see Old Faithful, the Grand Geyser, and some other ones. My favorite was Old Faithful. There are no other places like this on the face of the earth. There are so many stories to learn from Yellowstone. It's your park, and so we want you to enjoy it while you're here. Welcome to Yellowstone. Visiting Yellowstone is said to be life-changing, a place to be preserved for and enjoyed by all. Once you experience Yellowstone, where will it lead you?